Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. This is yet another plant hanger tutorial. So here I just have these six lots of 280 centimeters. I have two lots of 50 centimeters and one lot of 800 centimeters. So take your six cords and you're going to split them in half like I've done here and find that middle point and then take your 100 centimeter bit and with this we are going to go from the middle point about two inches above that middle point you see I'm doing here and then take the middle point of your 100 centimeter bit and put it behind like so and then we're going to be creating rows of square knots. So take your right cord behind the cord on the left and then the left will go behind your group of six cords and through that loop that's on the right there and then just pull that to tighten it like so and then take the left cord and make sure the cord on the right goes in front of that one behind the group of six and then through that loop on the left like so and then that is one square knot. I do actually recommend just making this at your desk if you pin something heavy on top of it like your laptop or something and make it like that. It's much easier than how I'm doing here, this is just for filming purposes. And then just keep on repeating this making square knots until you've used up pretty much all of your 100cm cord. And if you want a more in-depth tutorial all about macrame knots, I already have one on my channel and I'll have it linked in the description down below so you can check that out. So as you can see I've used up pretty much all my cord and I can't make any more square knots and if you fold it in half this will become the loop that you hang your plant hanger from. So fold it in half and make sure that both sides are equal and if they're not you can actually slide this square knot to make sure that both sides have equal amount of cord. So I'm going to take one of my 50 centimeter lengths of cord and create a wrapping knot. So start off with a small tail at the top like that and then come down and form this long U shape like I'm doing here and then you're going to wrap that long tail around all the cords holding them tight like this until you have about five or six wraps. So you can see I've got the long loop there still and the small tail at the top and I'm just wrapping all the cords around. And then you can take that long tail bit and go through that loop there and just hold that in place briefly and then pull on the small tail at the top and you'll see the loop is starting to close and it will secure that cord in place so just Pull it until it's about midway through the knot. You don't want to pull it all the way through as that will undo your gathering knot. So like so, and then you can just snip off all the excess cords to make it nice and neat. So now that we have created the loop, you can go ahead and split your plant hanger into three groups of four cords. And for now you can just put two of the groups away. So measure about 12 centimeters down from your gathering knot. And we're going to be creating six square knots just like we did before when we were creating the loop. Okay, so now that you have six square knots on this one, you can go ahead and repeat that on the other two groups of cords at the same height. So here we have all the cords and they will have six square knots on them. So take one group again and put the other two out of the way for now. And then measure about eight centimeters down from your last square knot. 
And we're gonna just be tying this in a normal knot. So take the cord up over and then take all the cords through that loop there. And then I like to just pull on each cord individually to make sure that all the cords are laying flat. So just take your time with this, make sure they're all laying flat and they all look nice and neat. And then for this next part, we're going to be creating a spiral square knot. So out of all your four cords, take the two longest. So make sure the two shortest cords are in the middle for this as the two outer cords need all the length that they can get. So here you see I'm just adjusting it so that the two shorter cords are in the middle and the two outer cords are the longer ones. So for this we're going to take the right cord over the middle to the left in front of that and behind and through that loop. And that is all that we're doing, we're just repeating that. So it's basically the first half of a square knot, you're just repeating that and it will start to spiral round. Okay, so once your spiral knots measure about 10 centimeters in length, we can just finish this part off with another standard knot like we've done at the start of it. Okay, so again, we can just repeat this on the other two groups of cords and then I'll come back once I've done it. Okay, now that all the super pretty spiral knots have been completed, we can just create the part where your plant will sit so hang up your plant hanger so that all the groups of cords lay flat and then pick out two cords from two groups that sit sort of next to each other. Measure about 12 centimeters down and create one square knot with those two cords and then repeat going around. So take the next two and then two from another group and create a square knot 12 centimeters down and then finish it off the last two cords from two groups that are left. As you see me doing here, once you've done those three square knots, we can go ahead and do the second row. So take two square knots like this and then take the two cords from either side and create a square knot with them about five, six centimetres down from your first row. And then again, repeat this step, creating two more square knots using the other groups of cords. So again, just making sure to take the two cords from either side that are laying next to each other. So now that the last square knot is done, if you hold them all together, you can kind of see where your plant would sit. So I like to measure about, again, five, six centimeters down from that. And I'm using the last 50 centimeter cord to create a wrapping or gathering knot, whatever you want to call it, just to secure it all. And then you can go ahead and trim off the excess cord from that and trim your plant hanger if you would like. I normally trim mine to about 15 centimeters, but I don't really measure it, I just kind of eyeball it. And then all that's left to do is to put your plant in and enjoy your macrame plant hanger. I think this is a really, really cute design and it looks really lovely with a dangly plant like this spider one. And if you do recreate this, please be sure to tag me on Instagram at LunarCraftsOnline. I'd really love to see your plant hanger and share it. And if you could subscribe, like or comment, that would really make my day. And I hope you have a lovely week. Bye!